Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about SCCM Asset Intelligence and how to install and configure those components. Some of the requirements that you need to have in place and some of those reports that you can run to kind of fear, uh, check to see uh, your license compliance. So with that, let's get started. So first we're going to go to the domain controller because we need to um, enable auditing. So if you go to domain control, open up your uh, group policy management editor. We're going to uh, define this and we're going to do success. We're going to click on OK. Now, most organizations probably already have that enabled, but I wanted to show you where that is. And I put it in the default domain controller policy um, to add it that. So once we have that enabled, then we're going to go over to the uh, SCSIM server to add the um, asset intelligent role. So with that, let me uh, get my SCSIM over here. Let's log in. So now what we're going to do, we're going to um, All right, so now what we need to do, we need to go over to um, your know, SCSIM server, go asset and compliance, and you, you'll see the asset intelligence tab. We're gonna edit the inventory classes. So we'll go ahead and click on that. We're gonna go ahead and enable all inventory classes. So this gets turned on. So you click on that and say, yep. And then what we're gonna need to do is we're now we're need to install the um, asset intelligent role. So we're gonna do that next. So we're gonna go over to administration. Let's go ahead and um, over here, we're gonna add a new site system role. Next, next. And we're gonna select asset intelligence, synchronization point. And then uh, we need to um, import this PDF file, so give me one second. So next, you want to go ahead and download the um, online certificate um, for your asset intelligence. So you go, I'll put the, I'll provide the link in the description below. So I'm going to don't download that package now, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that file to the primary site server. So I copied the file of one of my shares. Let me do that right now. Okay, it's gonna be called Confirmation. There it is. So I'm gonna copy that. Case. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. Yes. I'm going to browse. I'm going to place it. Let's see. Where do I want to put this file? Let's put it on the E drive. There we go. And then we're going to go to the E drive. And there's the file right there. Okay. So what we're going to do is put in the UNC path. Actually, let me put it. So I'll just put it the root of that. There we go. Packages. If that packages were shared. I believe it is. Yep. 
mission. There we go. We got everybody in there. Oop. I thought we had the name. There it is. There's the file. Next. We're just going to do a simple schedule. Um, next. And, uh, and I'll take a moment here. Now, once that's complete, the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to import the license file from your, um, in SCCM. And I'll put a link in the descri uh, description below because um, you have to, it has to be in a CSV file format. And um, there's a specific way you have to create that. Now, I don't have a Microsoft license, so I can't really show you that part. Uh, but I can, I'll link the information down in the description how you can import that license file. So that way you can uh, run reports like the re reconciliation reports, license reports. You can see if you're uh, meeting those requirements or if you're going over or under what have you, it'll give you a good idea. And I'll show you what those reports, where they are and what reports you can run once you have that. So um, I'll put a link in the, um, in the description below and where you can configure that. Uh, so, uh, and then what you need to do is uh, check the log file to monitor to make sure the um, asset intelligent has been installed. So if you go to um, the log file, So the log file is um, located on your config manager console logs and here's AI updates to service and you'll see services starting and it'll give you uh, pending, no proxy. So this is one of the log files you can look at to see um, at some intelligent catalog sync if there's any issues there. Um, you can also, uh, anything with the AI. Um, in here is basically asset intelligence. So here's the asset intelligence setup. So let's take a look at that. And um, so it's already installed, skipping it. So it goes through and checks everything. Um, so everything is looking good here. So let's open up I keep closing that. Um, so we can kind of make sure that everything is uh, getting installed correctly. There's no issues. Um, Everything looks good. Um, you can ignore that error. Uh, let's see, what is that saying? Uh, okay, it's already installed. That's fine. All right, so then what you want to do when you come in here, go to Asset Intelligence, and you'll see that, you know, this is now enabled. So we still need to do this part. Um, then, of course, that license file has not been imported yet. And, the, uh, and then it does a synchronization. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and synchronize the catalog. See if we, um, so we've got a few things that we need to take care of here. Um, so we're still doing installation. It hasn't even been imported. And then, uh, you know, this will tell you if it's last synchronized. So we'll give it a few minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So let's go ahead and review the logs. So the log files, like I said before, they're located on the, Config Manager. Now I put the. Now you can create a different server and put the asset intelligence log uh, point there. But I went ahead and put it on my primary site server because this is a lab. So <clears throat> basically, so the um, I use setup. This one, this log file. <clears throat> this gives you information about the app, the installation of the asset intelligence. <clears throat> so as you can see here. The um, installation was successful, which is good. And the other log file is called AI Update Log, Service Log, and when you click on that, um, this log gives you information about the Asynchron Catalog Synchronization Service. So you can see <clears throat> it's scheduled, um, so it's doing its thing. If there's any errors, you'll see that here, but since the installation was successful, we shouldn't you know, see any issues there. 
And then the last log, which is the AI, let me show you what that one is. <clears throat> AI manager log there. And this will give you information about the asset intelligence catalog manager service. Um, so it'll, you can go through here and check to see, and again, you know, wait for change your 30 seconds. They'll go through and check your, um, what's going on here. If you see any issues here, um, you can check that. So, um, so we've already verified that the installation is successful. Um, so then when we go to asset intelligence, let's see if we see any um, update here. Okay, we'll have to fix a couple little things. Be right back. While we're waiting for that, there's another component you want to go to um, meter in internet um, connection. And you want to say yes or allow. Click on OK. And then, of course, we've already enabled the classes. Now, <clears throat> we enabled like everything, but you can just only enable certain things you wanted. But I, you know, lab environment, you can enable whatever components you want there. Uh, and then there's some maintenance tasks that you have to do, uh, you know, to uh, check application title with inventory information and to summarize install install the um, software data. Um, so this way, the maintenance provides information that is displayed in the asset compliance workspace. And when the task runs, the configuration manager gathers a count of all of the inventory software titles as a, uh, at the primary site. So to set the maintenance task, we're going to do that next while we're waiting for the um, you know uh, other components, but just to show you where they're at. So you want to go to administration, site configuration, and then um, sites, and then you want to go into uh, site maintenance. And then you see check for application title inventory. You want to check that to yes, which it is. So we want to double check that. Uh, and that's basically those components that you need. You just want to make sure that's checked to yes, um, which it is. So we don't have to do anything there. Um, so I'll be right back when the um, that finishes. And then we'll talk about some of those reports that you can run. And I'll be right back. All right, so it took some time to synchronize the um, the asset intelligence, so it's now complete. Now I, I don't have a license file, so I wanted to just show you how to import it. It has to be in a specific format, a CSV format, and then of course eventually this will update to green uh, once it will. Um, I just checked the log and it was completed and done successfully. Again, I'll put the link in the description how to create the CSV file or how to import your license file so that you can run some of those reports. Um, so basically what you want to do is you want to put the license file um, and then network share. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, let me get that file out there. So let me minimize. Um, let me go get that license file. There it is. But I want it to be. Oh, uh, let me just copy this. This is uh, again. Rename this. Rename so that it's just CSV. So I'm going to move this on the E drive under packages. Just put it there for now. Um, now, again, this is not a valid license file, but I just wanted to show you the steps. So now you're going to go ahead and do import license file. Now I just created a general um, one. So you can, you can, uh, you know, do the Microsoft volume license from your, it can be the XML file or CSV file. You know, I'm just going to do general uh, just so you can see. Now it may not import um, just because I don't really have an actual um, file so and then you do next and then it'll import the file so the same thing will happen now again um, it's going to check the formats and then of course it's going to fail 
because uh, I'll have that uh, because I have a third party advice and information in there. You can do it, but there's a way to do that. So let me go ahead. Um, you kind of get the gist of it. So um, I'll, again, I'll put the link in the description. So once you have that in there, you can start to run well, uh, asset intelligence reports. So those reports are located under monitoring. And then you go to reporting, reports, and all your asset intelligence reports are here. So um, what you can do is um, you can, you know, uh, you can do a general reconciliation report. You can do all, all these reports relate to asset intelligence, life cycle, licensing, software, um, software recently used. So like if someone want, um, if you want to start metering software to determine, you know, uh, of those licenses that you have out there, how many of them are actually being used so you can maybe reclaim some of those licenses and stuff like that. So all of these reports will give you, and then here's some of the other reports. So everything in regards to asset intelligence is listed in this section here. And there's a lot of great reports. Um, so with that, um, that's basically it for asset intelligence. And um, again, so if you have any questions, comments, leave them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. There's gonna be a lot more stuff coming your way. Um, again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.